Hi, my name's Ron Martinello, former professional lacrosse player. So what you're seeing here is my old jersey from the Turbos uh, from 1991, which was the year that we won the national championship. And um, it's just been a fun time. Uh, I, I certainly miss uh, playing and, and those days of being able to run around, but time catches up with everybody, I guess. Some of the greatest memories had to do with playing at the Joe, of course, which is no longer there also. Um, we'd have a full house in there, uh, specifically the first couple years that we played. And uh, the, the marketing even was great. Uh, it was $10 a ticket, but you only needed uh, the edge of your seat. Um, uh, all of those types of things were great. Traveling uh, around to the East Coast and of course, uh, getting to see some of my friends from the East uh, uh, United States because they lived there while I was going to school in Maryland. One of the greatest things, of course, was being able to reunite with uh, my brothers, uh, to be able to play, um, of course, Kevin Hamlin and other Windsorite, Chris Reve, uh, Jimmy Woods, uh, Ed McGaffey, uh, all kinds of us were out there playing and, and uh, just had the greatest time. It was like a rejuvenation of our lives because we had lost lacrosse for about 10 years and then finally got it back in the pro level. The interesting thing was uh, a friend of mine, Bill Barroza, who ended up playing with the, the Turbos also, he, he came out of New Jersey and moved into the Michigan area where he was working for IBM and was friends with the, the owners of the league. And uh, they talked about putting a franchise in Detroit, but they were concerned about having anybody that was qualified to help them run a team and that's when it all came out initially um, I was going to coach uh, but then got coerced in uh, into playing which I'm happy I did and then of course my dad uh, Hall of Famer in Essex County he ended up being our coach and uh, leading us to the championship. Probably the biggest memory that sticks out with me is that first game at the Joe. Uh, there was about 14,000 people there and um, w the league wasn't really expecting much out of us and of course uh, we went on to win that first game I believe it was 12 to 8 and uh, I think the crowd just fell in love with that sport from that point on. The, the Canadian influence in the game of lacrosse has is, is really uh, come a long way and we're seeing now um, the American kids uh, being pretty good at their stick skills where they weren't as uh, proficient at it at the time, but uh, with uh, the the makes of uh, the professional uh, box league that's going on, or the indoor league that's going on now, along with the um, uh, outdoor league, uh, guys can play lacrosse and, and make a living off of it. Of course, we weren't capable of doing that in my day. You know what? My lacrosse career uh, started off pretty early. I, I started when I was about 13 years old, and, and immediately played. Uh, junior lacrosse when I was 14. I, I won a Canadian championship with the senior team when I was 15. I played in the Man Cup when I was 16. And then to go away to university um, to have a scholarship and play in the United States uh, with Maryland. Uh, Maryland's lacrosse program is about 120 years old now. And then to come back to Windsor again, um, missing lacrosse, and then having the opportunity to hook up with the turbos just it's been uh, a dream and uh, i don't think there's a week that goes by that i don't think about lacrosse thanks for watching this power play sports flashback stay connected to your sports community powerplaysportsvideo.com